Hello everyone, it's me Aniko321 and I'm here to give you this week's video a bit late. Yes, today is Sunday, the same day which I'm supposed to be um, rendering this video, so if it's short, that's why. But yeah, it's another day, it's another, another week to do stuff here. I've been busy all week, so I haven't actually been able to do much stuff here. And there's still chickens sticking out from the stairs, but well. <laughs> so this week I thought to myself what do we need to do next well we've got the power facility we've got um, wires I think we've got conduits left yes we've got plenty of conduits left we've got we've got our oxygen gear I can make some oxygen tanks uh, pipes later on so what else do we need we need fuel fuel is the most important thing how do we get fuel we have to go and find fuel and bring it Back. most people are going to tell me that's wrong but oh uh, well so we're gonna need to get ourselves some wonderful wonderful fuel to get us up there now which one of these is the fuel canister <laughs> I need to be more prepared da -da 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 -da. let's go back to craft and not have a fuel canister anymore does it literally just accept any fuel? I hope not. Because I'm pretty sure it used to be just coal. <laughs> oh, that's that, that, that's that. Uh, yes, because those seem useful. Mm hmm. That's. Oh, yeah, we've got Renaissance induction. So we can make a, fi a fusion reactor up on the moon. That's gonna be a few. That's gonna be a future to do. Once we get to the moon, we're going to set up our basic base. Um, hopefully, make it so it can self-sustain. So it gets oxygen, gets power, etc. Most definitely, I'm using um, yellowium. Which I've got plenty of. That's the other stained clay. Don't have plenty of. I've got that much yellowium. <laughs> I need to go mine some more. But uh, uh, yeah, I need to get some fuel for the for the rocket. So that's what I'm gonna be go out and do to get fuel. Though I'm still looking for how I'm going to do it. Cause get back to craft. Do you have fuel anywhere? That would be super helpful. Oh dear, I don't know how to make fuel for Galactic Craft. Hmm. I'll, fi I'll find out sooner or later, don't worry. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to go and start doing that. Next update, I probably will might have some fuel, or at least tell you how to make, how to get fuel for Galactic Craft. Cause I ain't sure. <laughs> oh, actually, before I do that. Uh, I'm gonna go and set up a rocket and a launch pad somewhere. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put a rocket in there yet. I'm just gonna put the launch pad somewhere. Um, just so we have a nice view of the house as we go up. I'll just place it around one of these sides. Uh, that side's full of bees, so this side will do. Hmm. A point actually. I don't want the smoke to go into all of this, so if I do what I do in NASA, I just make a smaller version of it, I can channel the smoke to go like this instead. I know it really doesn't make a difference, but sh uh, so the idea is the smoke will be channeled in that direction and out there, and possibly in this direction also. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. Launch pad done. It's the most safest launch pad ever. Right in front of my power generating generation. Yeah, I can't see anything that will go wrong with that. Anyhow, I'll let you enjoy the next segment. Boop. Well, we're back again and I've got the fuel, as you can see here. If you're wondering how I got the fuel this quickly, is because I borrowed it. <coughs> borrowed it from... Uh, the 
office. Yeah. And didn't tell anyone. I hope he do they don't mind. Oops. Okay. Uh, I might need to make a few trips between here and there though, as you can see. Because <laughs> this requires a lot of fuel. I know you don't have enough powers because I haven't powered you up. <sighs> Alright, let's just do this. <laughs> we've, got, we've got conduits to spare. Now, what I haven't thought about is a return. A way to return. Um... I know you don't work all the time, but you'll do for now. So I haven't thought really of a way to return back here from the moon. But one way of returning would probably be with Miscraft books. Because they exist. Uh, okay, good. You're detecting that. Okay. And you just need one more cable. Bloody hell. Uh... Jumpy, jumpy, jump! I should, I should get the thingy, um, axe terminal out there again. It was really helpful what I did beforehand. What last? I keep mistaking the NASA workbench for spider. I don't know why. Well, actually, it's kind of obvious why it's long, spindly, and it's got a red patch. <laughs> uh, wrong side, I'm guessing. Okay, let me just punch this side then, and see if this works. Okay, you got you got power. Now, I'm gonna go back to the office a few more times and obtain a few more pieces of oil. Fuel, I mean fuel. Yes, I totally meant fuel. <laughs> I think we're out of oil at the moment. I don't know. That, I'm wrong. We've got plenty of oil here. Somehow we're still getting power. Oh yeah, because we've got a uh, temporal power to <laughs> these refineries. Uh, you'll see why it's surprising next um, next uh, Yogscast complete episode that we do on the <laughs> Railcast. Uh, I, I was ne by the way, if anyone asks, I was never here, okay? I was never ever here. I was always at home. I, I didn't borrow any or any fuel whatsoever. No, 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 no. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Okay, and I think that's it full. Yep, we're full and fuel and everything. Now we need to go make our way back. When I say make our way back, make a way to return back to this planet. Which is going to be just miscraft books, probably. Do I have an unnicked book yet? No, I don't. I need to go and make that. But for that, I need to remember how to do it. Because, God, it's confusing now. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this part. Boop. And we're back again. Since our last, our last update, uh, quite a bit has changed. Now I'm using conduits everywhere, which I've made, I made a bunch more of uh, over there. Uh, but I also, what I've done is, because um, we're going to need, because I want to make a fully functioning base, and I want to be using um, what do you call them? air thingies <laughs> I can't remember the f air ceiling thing and bobs I need a lot of wool so what I decided to do is it's currently deactivated you probably can't see much however I've got grinders going around a mob spawner and the mob spawner it's got a safari net it's currently deactivated all of it because my, uh, my power system cannot take all of this but um, it's been providing me string for quite a bit until my power surge and run out so we got plenty of string to make more aluminium cable however I've decided now is probably the best time out of all to well use this rocket to go to the moon I look so silly carrying it <laughs> it is a heavy rocket so of course 
we have to go during the night because we can easily aim to the moon then in, in theory we should but we should wait till next night because it's mm, the sun the moon's not up at the moment where it wants to be where it should be but yay we're loading fuel uh, keep loading it have, have, are you are you full? Nope, it's not full of fuel yet. But as you can see, I've got my oxygen gear. I'm gonna put it on now. Actually, probably be a good idea to put all this on. My pink parachute, my thing, and my other thing. There we go. So that's the f oh, and most importantly, <laughs> two oxygen tanks. I'm not bringing much up there, but I'm bringing my portal a portal gun because what I want to do is get to the moon and use portal guns as a method to ooh, there I am <laughs> as a method to get back and forth. It's got to be a temporal method because it's most likely someone else is going to get the portal gun, which I'm using and use it also, which is going to be fun. And let's hope what will happen to um in actual portal doesn't happen to us where um all of our stuff gets sucked up that would be awkward but anyway it's turning day i may as well start the countdown 17 oh i should have stopped loading fuel <coughs> oops oh dear 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 1 Zero. We have left off. My, oh look, the f the smoke is actually going where I wanted to go. <laughs> That's cool. And we're above the mob spawn. Uh, there's the moon. There's the sun. But we're just gonna go straight up and then curve, cause Minecraft. Oh wait, no, the spaceship is just naturally curving to the side. Oh dear, dear, dear. So that's where we were before. That's Railandia. That's the moon there, which has just reached its next phase randomly. And there's the sun. Oh. It's been enjoyable. <laughs> da, 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 ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's not really much to do here. We have to still escape Earth's atmosphere. Up oh, there we go. The moon. Let's go. Now hopefully I don't crash. Uh okay. Uh what what? No nope. uh slow down. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's my height? Ah. I think I wanna go a bit faster for now. <laughs> 300 meters up 200 meters up uh, 10 meters per second is still pretty darn fast <laughs> oh I've landed <laughs> ah this is a nice view <laughs> interesting very interesting but yay we made it we're on the moon. And touch stick the the moon turf. <laughs> oh, it actually launches it. Holy crap! Look how much it it doesn't like uh, me using me doing the touch stick here on the moon. But we're gonna be making our base somewhere around here. Ah, oh, I didn't do something dramatic. Oh well, there's nothing really dramatic a kitty cat can say. Uh, any either or oh. <laughs> ah right <laughs> did not realize that okay so touch stick doesn't like moon turf at all so I can't level it up here I didn't realize portals were fixated to one dimension <laughs> oh well Let's see what we can find uh, and if anything goes wrong, we've got a portal gun back to the thing. Ah, don't have any light. Well, that's a problem. 
<laughs> oh dear. Anyhow, this has been this week's episodes. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this week's episodes. As always, I'm gonna do a little placeholder here. If you want to join this server, me, Stark, we've got now three or four new people who have joined on. Who are all builders, they don't, they're not recording stuff just yet. But still, if you want to join as a builder, as a person who does PR, as a recorder, a Twitch streamer, I don't know, and I don't care. Whatever you do, which is awesome. Uh, there's an application form below which you can fill out and heck you might be the next lucky person to come on as always and if you're wondering this is what's done in the Yoke's Cast Complete Pack because yeah we decided to do in the Yoke's Cast Complete Pack there's not really much I can say other than that I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode it's been me and Nico 3 to 1 and I'm stuck on the moon that's very awkward See you next episode. Bye.